Hey everyone, welcome back to Mod Live Season 3, episode number 35. And since last episode, guys, really haven't been doing too much, just kind of hanging around since we last left off. I did make a new addition to our power building. I'm not sure, or power facility, something like that. I need to get a name down for that and actually on a sign or something. We got our warehouse, we got our infernal furnace, we got a processing plant, my house, I just. Looks kind of weird and needs to be finished, but I'll get to that later. We got our farms out there, which probably going to move them later because they get destroyed and they just quit working. So, you need to do a little bit of work on that. And our refinery, which I still need to finish up as well. A little bit of work here and there. We got Compact City here. I'm going to put a big sign on this. I want to I want to call it Compact City. I think that was an awesome idea from you guys. Just put a whole bunch of compact machines in here. They just do a whole bunch of different stuff. All of our different little uh, contraptions we can come up with. So I did make a new addition back here to our power facility. And I'm hopefully going to try to get back in here and do a little bit of work today. You guys might hopefully have a guess on this and what I plan on doing. A um, little bit of backup power. We'll put it this way because of the update uh, to calculator kind of nerfed the uh, power from our conductor mass a little bit. Right now we are full up on power so we're not too worried about uh, power at the moment, but say for instance we started up a quarry, eh, our power supplies would get drained really, really quick. So, since last episode I also did grab a whole bunch of wood. All those great oaks that we had out here, I went ahead and chopped those down, except for these few here. Still need to do that. And I did a little bit of messing around and uh, saw a few uh, interesting things. Did some looking and I saw on the purified obsidian and then it just clicked. <laughs> it's just like I, I figured it out. I was like, indestructible. Indestructible. Which I'm assuming means mobs cannot break it either. So let's, let's go ahead and do a little bit of testing. I think this is definitely worth a test here. Let's go ahead and go into our flawless crafting mode and take a look at what purified obsidian might be able to do for us. I was thinking about lining like the center of the walls here with purified obsidian to hopefully help combat the mobs from breaking through, maybe even line underneath. So that's gonna require a lot of obsidian. And currently, well, it doesn't really look too bad. Uh, currently, the only way we are making obsidian is through the flawless calculator method, which is a whole bunch of wood. So I may want to consider getting a uh, wood farm up and going at some point. I think we're a little overdue for it. Besides that, there's really no other way except for maybe an igneous extruder, which we would need a large supply of lava for that. So it wouldn't be too bad. I'm, oh yeah, look, wait, what? Yeah, totally indestructible. Totally indestructible. Because, yeah, great. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one allowed to break it. I don't know. Gonna have to test it, though. I think it, it is totally worth a test to see if it, we can get it up and running and working for us. And then we could just line the inside of the walls with something nice so we don't have to look at this you know, bland, flat color all the way around. We can actually do something nice um, in front of the obsidian. So, All right, guys. Well, I've also been doing some other stuff, and I looked and did a little quick test in here. Carl and our other little friend here seems to really do enjoy apples which is a good thing because if we get a tree farm up and running which means we'll have a good supply of apples we can just supply them with those apples and they'll be happy to work for us hopefully for free and good stuff will happen isn't that right Carl <laughs> I did also read your comments as well as uh, some ideas for our compound name I really do like Bentley Industries or the only Bentley Industries something like that and uh <laughs> I do, I do see that you guys also liked the uh, Teddy Here Memorial Industrial Park. So, I have a couple ideas. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out on them. Um, some of you guys also mentioned, and I had an idea for this as well, was to also name NPCs after you guys mentioning and just putting down comments in the uh, comment section below. I think that would be really cool. Give me an idea to go ahead and you know start naming some NPCs. Also, we'll pretty much get you guys in here as well. I think it would be kind of fun. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want, go for it. I'll see uh, what I can do. Hopefully, we'll get some more NPCs up and running very soon. So enough chit-chatter. I've been talking way too long, but I do want to make myself a little upgrade. You guys can see I've already done a little bit of work here. I got some force field emitters and all that stuff. I want to make a couple more 
Ion. Hey, where's my H? Ion thrusters. So if we just go ahead and do this right there, bam, two Ion thrusters, because I am quite tired of my jet boots. I'm ready for an upgrade, and I think it is well worth the time for an upgrade. So let's go ahead and salvage our two Ion thrusters. And by salvage, I guess that means we don't get them back, which really kind of sinks, because I could have swore we got those back. Wonderful. That's just great. Well, I was going to make a jetpack, but um, I didn't get my two ion thrusters back that I thought I would get when I uh, salvaged that. So what I'm going to do, because I had plans on actually making the jetpack, I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night real quick. I'm going to go ahead and work on crafting up another two ion thrusters. I pretty much have everything I need just because I do have some extra stuff right here, our wiring and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, we're back with finally our two more ion thrusters that were taken away from me. So there we go. We got installed finally our jetpack. Let's go ahead and increase our thrust all the way up as far as we can there and see Oh yeah, check that out. We have flight. It's actually not too bad either. Oh, I can live with this. Oh yeah. This is really not that bad. Now we just had to figure out the uh, the hover mode feature of this whole setup here. Let's go into our controls real quick. Let's take a look through. Maybe down to modular power suits. All right, so, oh yeah, that's right. We need the, uh, the Duomajanger. How do I have a button 100? There's a button 100? Wow, I didn't know I had that many buttons. That's a lot of buttons. Um, yeah, we need the flight control circuit. That shouldn't be too hard to make. A flight control circuit is really nice. Generally, I don't really like them, but I think we can actually hotkey and turn that on and off, I'm assuming. So let's go ahead and take a look. I believe that's in the helmet there. Binoculars, flight control, an integrated circuit. Uh, well, control circuit to help you fly better. Press Z to go down. All we need is one little eensy weensy circuit. So let's go ahead and see what we need for this little fella right down here, somewhere in this stuff. There we go. Control circuit requires electrum, redstone, conductance coil, cactus green. We should have all of this stuff that we need. Two of those guys. Electrum, we need two of those guys. Let's see, coil, we should have the uh, conductance coil right there. Let's get one of these. And what else did we need for you, little fella? I think we have pretty much everything else on us at the moment. Actually, not on us, but it should be in our bag right there. There we go. And it looks to me like it's time to sleep. Yep, because I am not letting those guns go off unless they absolutely have to because they do use up a decent amount of power out there. <laughs> So, all right, let's see. Can we make this? Wait, what am I missing? We got two. Oh, yeah, the redstone. We need uh, two pieces of redstone. I don't know if I can afford that. <laughs> I don't I don't think I can afford two pieces of redstone. What is this madness? There we go. We have ourselves our control circuit. Let's set ourselves up with this. If we're not a big fan of it, I can always remove it, obviously. Vertically. Why look ratio? Eww. Uh, that's not too bad. Whoa! I don't like the constant on noise, though. It is a little obnoxious. Hold on, maybe we need to turn that down. Why look ratio zero? Uh. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. To be able to hover around like this, that's very nice. And to go down, we push Z. Now got to figure out how to turn it on and off. There should be an on and off button somewhere, I'm assuming. Um, modular power suits down. Zoom. We have a zoom feature? Why? Ah, nope, that's not that's not why. That was a, uh I don't I think that was H. <laughs> I want to say that was H. Whoa, whoa, speed again, <laughs> Um, oh, keybinds. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, so I want to go ahead and keybind. Um, let's keybind jetpack to hmm, kind of like F. How do we do that? There we go. We are now keybound to F. Nice. So anytime we want to turn our jetpack on, just push F, and we're off. Oh yeah. 
Anytime we want it off, just push it again, and it's gone. <laughs> Unfortunately, underwater, it seems to be a little slow. We could get the whole swift swim thing, but it's nice to finally have a little bit of flight. Ooh, I like this little island. I've actually been over here. I remember this now. Dude, we could totally... Ooh. We could totally make ourselves... This looks like an island. Eh, not really, I guess. We could make ourselves like a bridge over here from our area. That might be kind of cool at some point. But it is really nice to be able to actually just fly around and see and explore. Because we are going to need at one point to head out and find some new ores from Magnetic Craft. And we will get to that soon enough. So, we got our flight, we're good, let's move on. I got some fun in store for us today, guys. In fact, I've actually already made most of it. Because, well, let's go ahead and actually jump in here, because I uh, got a whole bunch of it already done. A lot of the stuff I've already made before, so I went ahead and just crafted it, and it should be in here. There we go. This is our immersive engineering uh, strong box here. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab the kinetic dynamos, which actually I don't think we need those, actually. I'm going to grab the radiator blocks, the generator blocks, and heavy engineering blocks. That's right. If you guys may not know, there's a nice actual power generator from Immersive Engineering. And this is... Wait, what is RTFM? Open the engineer's manual. Why did I just get this? Why is this a thing? <laughs> I think immersive engineering upgraded, actually. Hold on, immersive. Um, because, uh, or upgraded, updated. Ooh, breaker switch. That looks a lot cooler. Because before it didn't look like that. Ooh, what's this? A fluid pipe. What? Dude, fluid pump? Heck yeah. What? 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 Wooden barrel will keep its fluid when broken, cannot store hot fluids. Dude, this is so cool. Yes, new toys to play with. I love it. I love it when we get new stuff. A jerry can, which is like a gas can, right? A uh, shader, rose quartz. What do you mean a shader? There's shaders now? What can we shade? Crescent rose, trident, <laughs> milk. It almost reminds me of milk. Storm flower. Dude, this is really cool. Alright, I'm going to have to look at to what... Oh, ooh, a powered lantern. What is this? A floodlight? Yes! <laughs> so much yes! I want to play with these things, like now! Okay, okay, all right, I need to calm down, calm down. Whoa! Update news, what's new in version 6? Dear engineer, since you've last worked with immersive engineering, many things have changed. Among the new things are villager houses, new lights, wooden barrels, tanks, silos, silos, what? Fluid pipes, achievements, shaders, and the assembler and bottling machine. What's shaders? Shaders are items you can find in the world or acquire by trading with villagers. They don't have a typo, have a purpose by themselves, but they can be equipped to revolvers and possibly other things you still have to discover. To change the designs of the item, simply put the item in an engineer's workbench and equip the shader in the appropriate slot. Dude, that is cool. Most importantly, however, the way energy transmission is handled has changed a lot. In order to avoid mistakes, please make sure to read the entry on wiring, especially page 5, detailing the new distinction between a cable's transfer rate and a connector's in and output. Uh-oh. Well, thankfully, I don't have to really worry about this too much right now because we don't really use that. But anyways, guys, we do have some work ahead of us today. Let's get out of here and let's jump over to our power facility where we're going to get started with some new backup power generation. So you can see we got our little room back here in the back. I got some treated planks coming down here. And I'm trying to think how I actually want to go about doing this. I think I might go with some more concrete. So I'm going to go with the uh, technical blocks here. Let's go ahead and request some of these guys. I need to finish this up real quick. It shouldn't take but just a quick second. Unless I had a different idea, which 
quite honestly, I, I don't really remember. I might have uh, actually forgot. So, uh, I do like this worn concrete. We haven't really been using this too much else except for in the processing facility. And I, I really like the way it looks. Down here, I think it would make a little bit more sense just because we're a little bit underground here. Because this part of the uh, building actually goes a little bit more underground. But, uh, yeah, there we go. How's that look? I think that looks pretty nice, right? Yeah, we just need to fix this dirt here in the area. I don't I don't know. Let's actually uh, take a look-see here. What could we put? Ooh, I really like the vents. I do like the grates, the great ideas. Let's put a couple grates right here. I like the grates. Do the grates. Yes, that looks so nice. I love it. All right, next up, maybe, 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 maybe. Ooh, technical blocks with caution tape. May not be a bad idea. Let's try it. I mean, because it is an area where we do need something like to warn people. This is going to be a little bit more dangerous area. Eh, it's not too bad. I don't know. I might have to uh, poke around with some different stuff. Yeah, I don't really like it. <laughs> it doesn't look right. This is this is how I build, though, guys. Little trial and error here and there, just to kind of make things uh, hopefully look right, somewhat respectable and such. I was actually contemplating earlier about using this, uh, just scaffolding. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> totally misplaced so much. You know what? I don't think that looks too bad. It's supposed to be there for support because, well, it's pretty much needed to be supported. Because we got all that concrete sitting there. So what I might do, I might, I might switch this out for some better looking scaffolding later. But for now... Eh, there's no reason just to sit here and lollygag on some little design choices. Let's get started. I want to jump into our building. We need a new source of power that's going to generate us, hopefully, a lot of power. Ooh, it looks like you meant ore processing. Are you sure, you little cute tip? I mean, uh, paper clip? <laughs> All right. I want... What do you mean it looks like you meant? How does this look like any of that? What is the purpose of this? This is what I want. I want the diesel generator. That little Q-tip thing is wrong. Okay, I like the way this works now. Oh, that is so cool. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a lot nicer. All right, so I went ahead and pre-made all the blocks that we're going to need, which did require a lot of steel, which is why I was actually depleted there for a while there. So we needed the heavy engineering blocks, which this is totally not a heavy engineering block. This is my personal shrinking device, but this is actually a heavy engineering block. Some pistons, steel, steel mechanical components, which is more steel, and that makes a whole bunch of those guys. We need our generator block, which is made up of the kinetic dynamo, like we made for our water wheel early on more steel and electrum and then lastly we need some radiator blocks which is well more steel water bucket and copper you do get your water bucket back too by the way actually i don't think you do i can't remember now i'm not too worried about it we have plenty of iron no big deal uh, hopefully you do too all right so no really the blood moon is rising you just i was about to get started here and then you just did that Ooh. I like that. It actually shows the thing and stuff. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and just do this. Let's just get it going. I'm tired of waiting here. <laughs> I'm going to put these, I'm thinking like right here. And yes, that's right. I am making two. Now, do I want that much space in between these guys? Or do I want to bring one more in? I think I like this a little bit more myself. All right. And next up, I, I want to say we go up like so on both of these and then yeah we need a three by three of these guys do, 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 do. these are a little bit easier to make they're not too difficult but we also do need to supply them with fuel once we get them up and running and thankfully we actually just finished ma okay that I should have known that was gonna scare the snot out of me oh wait <gasps> no we're not short too we are short, too. Well, there's chaos ensuing outside. I think I'm going to uh, possibly run somewhere. 
Holy cow. No! Don't you be shooting stuff! Urgh. Go away! Running away! Running away! You're blowing up my stuff! You stupid mobs! What do you think you're gonna do to me here? You're not gonna do anything. Yeah, you guys fall into my oil moat. Okay, that looks bad. That does not look helpful. Wow, they're destroying everything. Really? Ah! Holy cow, what am I dying from? Nausea? That doesn't make sense. Um... What the? Why was I taking so much damage? Okay, that's weird. Ooh, light! Survivability! I like that. Stop shooting stuff! I don't like it when y'all shoot stuffs! Oh, good lord. Alright, guys. What we need to do... Ah! Stop it! <laughs> you crazy, crazy things, you! What is happening? My world is gonna be destroyed. Oh, hey, yeah. This is a safe place. This totally looks safe. Let's just chill in here for a little bit. Yeah, I think this will work. Uh, oh, great. Oh, great. Alright, guys. Well, enough of this. I'm just gonna kind of, uh... No! Hopefully not die. Yeah, I can see you guys. You're trying very hard, I can tell. Oh, I need to stay away from that place. They don't need to be blowing that up. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do my best to survive through this, which should not be too much of an issue. Um, I'm assuming, you know what I might do? I'm just going to pop down this little fella somewhere, and we're going to go chill inside of our uh, compact machine here, and uh, we're just going to wait until morning. So <laughs> I'll see you guys in probably just a couple minutes. We'll be back in just a sec. All right, guys, and we're back in... <laughs> Morning is finally coming here. Let's pick up our compact machine. We could take this with us. Ah, darn it. <laughs> They're not quite done playing around and stuff, so I'm just kind of uh, finishing waiting for this. In the meantime, I did make a couple more of the uh, heavy engineering blocks. We do need those as well, so I went ahead and just made those. Holy crap. Holy jeez. Do you guys ever give up at all? <laughs> you guys can't hit me. <laughs> you guys can't hit me. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. All right, anyways. Enough of that nonsense. Let's make our way back. It should be light enough out to where hopefully nothing else spawns. I do see some things kind of lingering out and about. May have to let the turrets actually take care of anything that's uh, left, if anything. And probably going to have to do a lot of fixing, it looks like. Holy jeez. They, like, decimated my base again. At least that's intact. <laughs> that's a good sign, right? Uh, besides that, what else did they destroy? Did they break this again? Man, they broke this again. I just fixed this. I literally just fixed that. Holy cow. Hey, Evil Fred. How you doing, Evil Fred? Of oh, yoink. Yeah, get yoinked. Yeah, you would. Well, it looks like my moat's doing a alright job, but not as okay as I have really hoped for. All right, anyways, let's get down here. We should be safe now. Let's get some power generation up and running. We should be able to get these two guys going now. We got our engineering blocks. Bloopy, oh man, you would. All right, and then lastly, I believe this is all we has to do is put these guys on the back. I think actually this is wrong at least with the way I want it. I want this part. This is the radiator. This is the uh, the cool looking part. I want this on the back. That's where I want it. Ah, yeah. I'll show you guys why in a second. I got some ideas. You'll see. And hopefully you'll like them. All right, so here we go. Three, three. One, two, three. And these guys up here. Might have to move my stairs just a little bit. We'll see. But for now, Check this out. Let me grab my engineer's hammer. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that, guys. We have ourselves two biodiesel generators. Now, if I'm not mistaken, oh, yeah, look at that. You can actually right-click on this with your hammer, and it'll flip it around. So that way we can pretty much have both sides uh, facing one way like this. I like that a lot. I really like that a lot. All right, here's the next plan, right, guys? So there's a reason why I put this side against the wall. I thought it would be really kind of cool if we could get back here. 
break these blocks out and maybe have like this as a vent in the back right for these uh, radiators that way they actually get air and make air move against you know the uh, metal parts in the radiator uh, that way well they actually seem effective they don't really need to be that way it's just for aesthetics reasons um, but you can see we are a little bit underground here this is the uh, normal normal level outside and I think that looks pretty darn cool now what am I gonna do for that well I'm gonna try to put something around that area to try to make it look a little nicer but right now currently we need to get started and start moving liquids over here now this is the power output on the top these three spots right here this transfers high voltage so we do need HV connectors or something equivalent uh, these right here are the power boxes these are what tells them to be turned on or off um, currently it'll just stay on if it has the fuel and then uh, right here is the fuel input so we do want to um, get some fuel coming over here for one we also need to get up working in our uh, liquid storage facility or liquid storage plant something like that I'm not sure what I'm gonna go with just yet um, wow man I'm so used to my thing jumping up and down but check that out look at that guys doesn't that look cool here let's knock this back one more block in fact let's just do this all the way through and we'll just get rid of this stuff just get it out of the way look at that look at that now we just need to set up something um, back here something kind of cool looking something like grates or fans I don't know maybe we could do some fans I don't know like uh, in our processing plant I'll figure something out maybe you guys have some cool ideas as well but first let's go over let's grab ourselves a little bit of gasoline because if you take a look inside of your engineers manual behind your diesel generator page uh, towards the end it should start saying uh, what it can actually accept if you take a look here now before the update there was actually a few other options in here as well but it takes biodiesel diesel and gasoline gasoline lasts the longest and as you can see that's a lot longer than the other two so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna steal this gasoline that I've been refining as you can see we also have some more going on in here why did that flip around the book okay a wrench does that Roger that we'll remember looks like oh yep we got a little bit of an issue here not really a big deal it's really not I think what I can do to fix that real quick is to pick up these two and I am gonna be fixing this very soon I want to make sure we have a, a better system than this because this is just kind of getting obnoxious especially with this like I have to pick this up now and uh, it's just not gonna work so it does kinda get you know really I was gonna say yeah you better better work and do your thing right in fact I don't even need the filters anymore cuz they're just gonna go in their respective areas now so that's cool we do have our gasoline though and I do want to start transferring that over so what I'm gonna do real quick to kind of retain everything so I'm gonna make me a bucket here I'm gonna put it in this resonant tank that I currently already have place it there so it knows to uh, continue to put that in there I, I feel like this is not working now <laughs> for some reason this is not working I don't know we are gonna work on this like I said some other time and get it up and running a lot better than what it currently is that flight is gonna help so much more now all right let's get this up and running I need real quick do we have any flux plugs I do not not in there at least let's go check in our compact city see what's uh, lurking about in calculator land that's what I dubbed this place this is calculator land we'll get to more of this later I promise all right so for this guy what do we need for the flux plug again because I want to make sure I make two of these we need a block of reinforced iron and an eye of ender all right cool we got this we need an ender pearl grab me one of those and blaze powder a bam two things ready to go quickly craft those and all we need is our dynamic calculator this and that that'll give us 
two of our flux plugs. Let's get out of here and head over back to our power facility. Yeah, let's get these diesel generators up and running, shall we? This is going to generate us a lot of RF. Each one of these is going to produce us 4,096 RF per tick, unless it's been changed. I don't think it's been changed. Did he nerf it? Uh, nope, sure. Sure didn't. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we're going to set this guy. Oh, no. Sad, sad day, I see. Oh, man, that really does stink, though. So we're going to have to get a separate connection to actually connect to the flux plugs currently. Now, as far as... Ooh. Yeah, let's go ahead and try out the uh, new pipes from Immersive Engineering. These fluid pipes here. We're going to need some iron and more iron. Sounds good. Iron and iron. I like it. Give me all the iron. Let's try these things out real quick, shall we? I want to see how well they actually work. Man, you don't like my hammer? I love my hammer. Get out of here, hammer. Oops. I need this, this, and then I believe that. No. Miss those two. There we go. Fluid pipes. All right. So if we hook... Oh, that looks so cool. Yes! I am going to totally be using these everywhere. My day has gotten so much better. There we go. So we got this set up on top. All we got to do is whack it with our hammer. Check that out, guys. Slowly but surely, they are filling up. Oh, it actually shows at the top now. Uh, it has uh, that much gasoline in each of them. Sweet. I like that a lot. All right, let's go ahead and grab our two levers out of here. Get our bag. Get our levers. I'm going to go ahead and flip this real quick on both of them. Bloop. And bloop. We'll set up a better system for this very soon. But guys, this is going to be so awesome. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is going to be cool. All right. So we need a form of power transfer to our flux plugs. What about another resonant energy cell? Just because they do transfer a large amount of power. Uh, would not be a bad idea. We could also just use the redstone energy cells as well. Those would work just fine because they send and receive 8,000 RF per tick. Let's do that because we do have a couple of these guys just sitting in here. We need conductance coil, electrum, and lead. All right, conductance coil. We need two of you, my friends. We need, what was it, lead? We needed some lead and electrum. Yep, so we need six... Electrum and two lead. Actually, I think it's four lead. My mind's on track today, guys. What a relief. <laughs> there we go. Two redstone energy cells. Check that out. All right, so they are charging in my uh, my hand like that because I have my, uh, my thing turned on. But here we go. Let's place these guys up. We're going to set these guys to our power station one because this is going to send to our, our um, bank here. If we wanted to set up another system uh, with a different name, we'd have to make another flux controller. So we don't really want to do that right now. But this guy should be set up to power station one. Yep. And these are totally unnecessary now. Thought they might help transfer the power a little bit quicker, but that's completely unnecessary. Don't need that. And if we switch these guys on very quickly... We should be filling up with power, hopefully. All we have to do is blue on the bottom. Look at the power coming in. Ah, yeah, the sound of industry and output on the left. Now this guy will input on the bottom and output on the right. Maximum input and outputs are set up. So now, guys, we have ourselves an amazing amount of power coming in over 8,000 that's right over 8,000 not quite 9,000 RF per tick check that out and as soon as they fill up the cells they're going to shut off which is very very nice so right now currently it's going to just sit as backup power but it will kind of probably serve as main power currently so Unfortunately, though, guys, because a lot of other stuff did happen today, we are going to have to finish off here for today. Seriously? They broke my turret? Stupid mobs. I'm just going to... I'm going to fix them very soon, don't you? <sighs> Let's 
sleep through the night. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it here for today. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comments section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.